Hi there. As I enroll folks in the new mastermind, Come Alive and Do the Thing, I'm having a lot of conversations about how we understand being in action and taking action in the world. How do we understand our creative process? This is a gross oversimplification. I'm going to propose two models for how we act in the world. I would love it if it provokes you spontaneously to see three or five or ten different ones because that itself could get you into action. But here's what I've noticed. People often have one of two basic strategies for creating things in the world. And one is that they'll look at their life and they'll see they've moved forward when they've had clarity. Clarity is like the holy grail in this model. They get clarity about what they want and then it seems as if by magic that opportunities open up, that things fall into place, they meet people, stuff happens. It's uncanny. And I've had this happen and I've seen it happen in the life of clients. And there's a way in which we make it all about that initial clarity. But think again, because another way to proceed is creating from the unknown. You're not sure what you're up to. You know some stuff, but there's a lot you don't know. And so you take little actions. And in this model, you use what calls to you the desire, the inklings, the inclinations to cause you to take a few steps or one tiny step. You make a phone call. You check out the requirements for registering as a counselor in your new state. You find out what it would take to get on the faculty of a school. You explore the costs of a coach training program. You look into web hosting, whatever. You take some little actions. And sometimes it seems to you that you're taking a bunch of random actions in different areas, following these glimpses, these promptings. And out of these individual actions, new possibilities arise. And at some point, you realize that you're going to create an X. And now you've got clarity, and you're on the X pack path, and things seem to fall in place, and you meet those people, and you have those opportunities. But you don't have to wait for clarity to be creating. In fact, if you've ever made art, you know that clarity happens late in the creative process. I mean, it can actually happen all along. You start with a very clear picture of what you want to make, and sometimes you make that thing, and sometimes what you make looks real different by the time you're end, and you have a new clarity. But clarity is an artifact of the creative process. It's not the governor of the creative process. At least it doesn't have to be. So if you've been waiting for clarity to take action, I invite you to take another look. Maybe it's about engaging in your life and letting the clarity emerge. Let me know what you think. Bye.